Okay, a new uh, video from the Kennisland team today. This is uh, Kimon. Hi, Kimon. Hi. Uh, Kimon is a colleague at Kennisland, and since the topic of today is leadership and change, we thought we would ask Kimon a bit about this topic. Uh, we also work on it at, in Kennisland projects. Kimon, can you tell a bit about uh, yeah what we learned about leadership at Kennisland? Um, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, after working with teachers for a long time, we had many observations about uh, yeah on schools and how they function nowadays. And um, from that, we came to the logical conclusion that we should work with school leaders. And um, we think that um, the way school leaders work should be like more or less reinvented. Because um, I, I think on, mainly on three themes, um, like the competences of the school leaders um, sh yeah, should be different than before. The way they learn themselves could be changed. And also maybe their formal position, um, well, that might depend from country to country, but um, in the Netherlands, the formal position of the school leaders as well. So, can you say a bit about how we work on that in our programs? Um, yes, yeah, sure. So, so um, we try to support. Uh, we we have now a, a pilot with uh, twenty three school leaders, and we try to make them think. Well, not only think, but also uh, practice uh, new ways of leadership, and and that like that mostly means that they become la less bureaucratic leaders and more creative leaders in, in a way. So we think that schools should be more creative and learning organizations. And in the Netherlands, schools are really uh, the product of, um, well, industrialized thinking with top-down uh, 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 policies and top-down theories on learning. And we think sh schools should be uh, more learning and creative themselves, and that also um, needs a different kind of leadership, namely creative leadership. Um, a, a school leader that knows how to make his or her team learn and co-create and develop new forms of education, like on the fly every day. Okay, thanks. And can you give one example on how we? facilitate school leaders to really do that in practice? Yeah, sure, because that, that's, that should be, that's more or less the next theme then. The, uh, so it's not about only about different competences, but it's also about how do they learn themselves. And uh, what we see here in the Netherlands is that um, there's a lot um, to win when school leaders um, are more action-oriented with learning. So if they would use more um, strategies of action learning or uh, network <coughs> learning in networks or co-creation with peers, peer feedback. Uh, so what we try to do in our program is to uh, facilitate these kind of learning processes for them. Okay, thank you. <laughs>